Hey, it's the Scotch Test Dummies. I'm Scott. Bart. We got a single cask nation retail Ooh, release. What? They're in the retail? What you talking about, Willis? They've got website and they've got retail and we're gonna... Test it! Would that be different stroke style? Absolutely style. <laughs> All right. Okay, so Single Cast Nation. Um, yeah. We had on, we did a live stream with them a long time ago. Long, back in the yard days. Smaller independent bottler. Yes. Doing bottler. a great job. Yes. You could order online. They'll have online releases. And what was I always stunned by? $10 shipping. $10 shipping? You got eight bottles. $10. Made me always buy extra. They do retail releases also. This was a retail release that came to Kansas. Wow. Uh, our store actually got two or three. I just picked up one just okay. to see kind of Ooh. where they were at. Blair Athol Distillery, 10 years, second fill, PX, Sherry Butt, and they even named the cask. And uh, that is very cool. 577 bottles came out of this, and it's 55.3%. Let's put it back here so you can see it better. Hmm. That's, and they got a, a little information bar on there, too, that shows you, like, is it floral? Is it spicy? This one's supposed to be more sweet, I believe. I see they have some notes on here as well, but let's just wait until yeah. we get done, and we'll, look, we'll compare what we get to what they get for tasting notes. Well, Single Cast, Cast Nation used to have like a pre-event to, to the big, well, it was one of the big whiskey magazines that did a big tasting and I'm blanking on the name. Oh. So, but they would do a pre-event or they did a pre-event for a while. So we have had this one sitting here in reserve waiting to be reviewed for a while. Yeah, you've been on it too. Um, nicer nose, um, second fill PX barrel, where is it? Yeah, I don't get that. I get Maybe. a little touch of pear. All right, we're back. A little technical difficulties there. Ooh. Again, a little bit. There's a little bit of the PX showing. Slight notes, a little bit darker. Um, caramels, though, oaks, vanillas. Sponge sugar. Um, burnt brown sugar. Okay. You know, kind of though, the, by sponge sugar, it almost reminds me like uh, if you're at the fair and that, that little cotton candy thing's going around and they, you come up and the guy will twirl mm. up your cotton candy there and it's hot and smells kind of like yeah. that. You can smell it uh, from probably about <laughs> yeah. 15, 20 yeah, yards that, away yeah, as you're exactly. walking up yeah. to it. Yep. <laughs> and it kind of draws you toward it. So that's what I get on the nose. I was anticipating maybe the raisins and stuff, but no. So, hmm. Okay, they're definitely there on the palate, not so much on the nose, more so, still not a PX bomb. Mm. Um, slight hints here, a lot of the bourbon, probably ex-bourbon casks showing oh, through. Yeah. But yeah, some of those darker notes on the tail mm -hmm. end. Like nice raisin palette. skin or plum skin. It, it seems like it's, it's not on a juicy side. It's a little more astringent, a little drier. A little more spicy. Yeah, well, yeah, spicy for sure. Yeah, like, um, mm, what is it? It's maybe, it's not as overpowering as clove, but maybe like a mm -hmm. touch of clove. Clove, black pepper. Mm -hmm. Clove and black pepper, kind of if, if you had a uh, rub. A um, mm -hmm. little meaty. A little savory, vegetal, yeah. earthy. Yeah, all that comes in later. What's really interesting is there's a lot of movement here. The very first thing I get is this little PX plum skin, raisin skin kind of thing. And then, then, then that's when that, that clove spice and then the pepper kicks in and then the pepper gets stronger. Hmm. With water as well. I really brought out the spiciness that. even more. Hmm. That's um, interesting. There's a lot of interplay there. Yeah, through the finish even. Spiciness kicking in. Mm -hmm. Burning in the back of the tongue, the palate. Hmm. 
a uh, burnt vanilla custard. I get a little bit of the oak on the finish. There's still a real light finish going on that tastes like an oak spoon. I don't know what that is. <laughs> an oak spoon. Yeah, like I had a spoon with some <laughs> marmalade on it or something. What is that? What is an oak spoon? <laughs> That's just what came to mind. Like we're eating a porridge or something with an oak spoon and an oak bowl and you're getting a little bit of that oak flavor. I had one drop of water in, I liked it. That's where that little bit more spiciness came through. I just added a second drop, so let's see what happens. Mm. I added just one drop. Mm. Kind of toned down that, uh, that plum skin raisin skin. Mm. I think I like this neat better. I like it with water better. Hmm. Yeah. Two drops is definitely, some of those flavors were compacted in there, kind of compressed. We're opening up now. I'm getting more of those plums. Let me try a little Raisins, more. darker sweetness. Sweetness? Sweetness. You said sweetness. <laughs> but, All right. Yeah. Um, I like it's right where it's at, though. I'm not going to add any more water. I'm actually um, still but, surprised how peppery that is. Yeah. Yep, I agree. Mm. And I think, can you find this single cask nation bottle for this 10 year old Blair Athol? Probably not. Maybe there's some in your area on the shelves. Really, to me, this is more about single cask nation and just showing you they are an independent bottler that's out there. Oh, they're Look at one. some of their releases. Yeah. You know, and don't be afraid to try them because they're bringing some good casks to market as well. Yeah. I Now, I had one. <laughs> so some of their bottles are so, it, yeah, there's just not enough. And they get such a demand that you got to put your name on like a wish list. And I had one bad experience with this wish list. I put my name in and I got an email notification didn't win and I was like eh, okay it was like yeah, yeah you know that happens then a secondary email one of the winners mm. has not fulfilled you're back in bling you didn't win yeah another one came in once again you weren't selecting I was like damn all right <laughs> that means and then you gotta move that quick yeah well it will it wasn't I like guess. selected though it wasn't selected because my name was in there but it wasn't selected and then it said, well, there must have been several that weren't paying within like the 12 yeah. hour period. It came up a third time. There's yet another opportunity. I was like, yeah, I put it in, <laughs> ding, nope. <laughs> I was like, oh, dang, I feel like I lost this bottle three times. I'm, I'm, and then they sent a fourth one. There's been another opportunity. And then I'm like, no, I was like yelling at my phone. I ain't doing it. I ain't going in for this abuse. I actually, knowing <laughs> you, I have to question that you tried it three times. No. Because you were like twice would be it. You'd be like, I'm no, out. No, what I, I wanted, twice. I wanted it. I looked good and I thought, dang, you know. But it was that, it was the fact that someone didn't pay within the time period and then they reopened, but you don't know how many. So, you know, they reopened X amount of bottles. Well, then I'm like, I want in on that. And they had to do another random pick. It had to be hard on their end. So I get sure. it. It's not their fault. But then someone didn't go again or pay in time. So they're like, yet I'm again, there's a few. And I'm like, I'm in again. It was, it went from like, hi, oh, yeah. and then like, nope. And I'm like, mm. and, <laughs> and then finally I was like, I'm out. I can't go through this. It's like, it's like asking a girl out and she's like, no. And then the next day she's like, hey, ask again. I'm like, you want to go out? Yeah. No. And I'm like, what? I thought you... <laughs> and then finally, I think she's like, hey, I really want to go out with you. And I'm like, get out of here. I ain't going out with you if I get the chance. It ain't happening. That's what happened. And I was a little disappointed because I thought I might get it three times. And then I quit trying. <laughs> so, I'm ready to score. Um, sorry, I got lost in the story. Yeah. Um, I could tell it kept uh, going. Uh, and it kept yeah. going. A little bit here. It's a little weird with the pepper for me. I'm going to go with a strong 89. I'm guessing you're a 92. No, oh. I'm actually a 88. Whoa, really? Yeah. I thought you were going to like those little skinned raisin things. No, I mean, it's good. Um, I like it. Good. I mean, if, if you see this one, you know, pick it up. 
It's a 10 year old cat strength X, XPX. It feels more than 10 though, and I love these transitions. I mean, it's like it's moving through several doors. Yeah. For me. Yeah. So. Nothing. And <clears throat> maybe I had a little bit higher expectations mm. for it just coming out and being in the, you know, Sweeter. XPX. Yeah. Uh, there's, there's less PX here influence than I expected. I wanted to see mm -hmm. a little bit more. They, they uh, look nutty, spirit. spicy, earthy. Oh, there was a, I did see they have some uh, tasting notes. Okay, there. let's see. Get? Hold on. <coughs> uh, malty and sherried with particularly enjoyable notes of chocolate fudge. I didn't get that. Crushed hazelnuts and fruit cake. I can see the fruit cake when I'm talking about the skin of the, the raisin or something. Uh, note the ground ginger and dark chocolate notes. I don't get dark chocolate. However, that provide a lovely balance with the spicy bittersweet element. Yeah, yeah. elements. Pretty yeah. accurate. Yeah. All right. Mm. Uh, price point on this was $90, $95. A little a high. high. For a ten year. You're getting a single barrel, you know, cast yeah. strength whiskey. Yeah. You're gonna pay a little bit more. Okay, back again. Uh, we have a couple of Patreon shout outs we need yes. to do. Yes, and yes. <laughs> All right, Bronwyn, a $2 supporter, came in, talked to Bronwyn on the phone through the Scotch Malt Whiskey Society. Bronwyn. Yep. Bronwyn, Bronwyn Douglas. Douglas. Now that's B R O N W Y N. Bronwyn. Yep. Got it. All right. I'm curious. Where's. Uh, What's the derivation there? Is it uh, German? Is it, yeah, I don't know. Put it in Bronwyn. Put it in the uh, comments there. That's an interesting <laughs> first name. I like it. Uh, very cool. We're going to save the other two for later. We'll do um, the other two dollar supporter that just came okay. in. Okay. All right. All right. Fight, fight for, for sound. sound. Wait, okay, well, yeah, fight for go. sound. Now we're going to fight for Gusto. Fight for sound. sound. With Gusto. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Appreciate it. Of course, all our Patreon support. Right. Go check us out. Yep. You can go a dollar a month or five dollars right. a month. Go to or... Patreon, look up Scotch Test Dummies. Boom. You can set the, yep. the, the limit. Yep. And merch. Go to ScotchTestDummies.com. You can buy shirts, glats, 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 glats. glasses, glats. hats, yes. dropper sets. Yes. All kinds of stuff. Helps keep oh. the lights on, helps buy whiskey, helps support the show. Very nice. Scotch it, you Scotch gods. Launch Dummies. Dummies.